right? So clear your weights and your stuff just so that you have plenty of space to move. All right, and we're gonna start in an upright position, but we're gonna take it down to the ground pretty quickly. So just to kind of give a moment or two, just to let our heart rate recover, let your breath recover. That was a lot of work right there at the end. Nice, one little swing side to side. And then just take a nice big reach up and overhead. Let your hips come forward just a little bit, almost as if you're trying to just do that nice big good morning stretch. Let your hips come forward, let your chin lift slightly, take a nice big breath. Beautiful, and then release that a little bit, bend your knees. We're just gonna take that roller right down to the ground. Once it's on the ground, hands on the roller, take three nice little bends and straighten through your legs. You don't have to straighten them all the way, just to a point you feel a little tug in your hamstring muscles and just get a sense of how your hamstrings are feeling this morning. All right, and then when you're ready, keeping the roller out in front of you, we're just gonna come down onto our butt. So you come down to sit on your butt in any way that works good for you. I like to just sink my butt down, but then once you're there, legs are gonna come right over the top of the roller, right towards where the calves meet the ankles. And then once you've got your way there, just start to swish your toes side to side. Nice, and then we're just gonna walk the roller in, in and up about an inch or two, and then right back to that toe swish. One more swish side to side, and then move it on up about an inch, and then right back to that swish. One more swish side to side, and then move it on up, move up maybe another inch or so, and then right back to your swish. Nice, one more time, we're gonna move it up. So we're right about to the edge of the calf where the calf meets the back of the knee, but we, we're gonna stay off the back of the knee for right now. So just swish those toes side to side. Beautiful, one more little swish side to side, and then we're gonna start to do that little foam roller walk, walk it down towards the ankles and then back up towards the knees. Find a pace that works good for you. Beautiful, one more time up and down. Nice, and then the next time, if you can, come up to the backs of the knees. And so now we're gonna let that little the roller come to that bend in the knee. So you're gonna get that nice big extreme bend in the knees or extreme. And then we're gonna take a little forward fold here. So keep that roller underneath your knees, keep that nice generous bend, think up and over. So we wanna pull and lift the spine upward, keep that lifted position and then reach down towards your toes. And now once you've got a hold of your toes or your shins, or you can even kind of just hook your elbows on the roller if that feels like a better leverage. Now you've got that forward fold, soften through the back of your body. Take three nice deep breaths, but just, See if you can soften your shoulders, soften the back of your neck. Take one more breath. Awesome, and then slowly walk yourself back up. We're gonna bend the knees even more, move that roller on up and in. We're gonna gently roll the hamstrings. So you're just gonna start by placing the backs of the thighs onto the roller. Pick your butt up, keep a light softness to the knees so that it's not an extreme straightness. In, the, in this rolling position, we do wanna keep the knees slightly bent, but I find that a little bit challenging just because once I bend my knees like purposefully, I have to engage other muscles. So just a softness to the knees is the best that I'll say. All right, one more roll up and down, and then we're gonna reposition ourselves so that we can set our butt onto the roller. So you place your butt onto your roller in any way that works good for you. And then once you're there, step your feet nice and wide and just start with a little windshield wiper with the knees. Awesome, let that windshield wiper come to stillness. Keep that wide position with the legs, but just the right leg. We're gonna drop that right knee out and in. One more out and in, and then switch over to the other side. So left leg out and in, right knee stays stationary. 
And if you like just tuning in and paying attention, as you do that out and in, you might notice some little variations. So your right butt is probably staying pretty stationary, but you might feel that little bit of movement in the muscle tissue on the left. So if you, if you like tuning into that kind of stuff, that's where you're gonna pay attention. All right, one more out and in, and then we're gonna take it into that big roll side to side. So we're rolling hip to hip or side glute to side glute. Awesome, now the next time you come over to the right, stay there and just do that nice roll up and down. I say nice roll up and down, but if you ever get to a place where you're like, you've got something going on or you have like a, a hot spot or tension area that you don't like rolling on, then you can just stay stationary or like adjacent to the spot. You never have to go where I say, just because I'm saying, you know what's going on in your body. So you're gonna always make sure you do what feels right to you. All right, one more up and down. And then when you're ready, take it over to the other side, left glutes, and we're rolling up and down. Beautiful, one more little roll up and down, and then come back to center, set your butt down. We're gonna move pretty quickly through the back of the body because I wanna make sure we focus on some side body stuff and shoulder. So hands on the roller, lift your butt up, release your butt down to the ground, and then right away, move it right up to that space underneath the shoulder blades, hands behind the head, inhale and lean back. Exhale to lift up, inhale and lean back. Exhale, contract the abdominal muscles. Let that core help lift you up. Inhale and lean back. Exhale and lift up. And now we're gonna lean back if you like a little back bend. So you're gonna lean back just as far as you like. If it feels good, you're gonna release your hands from your head, reach your arms up, drop back as far as feels good. And then just take a nice big breath here. Beautiful. Lift your head up slightly, hands behind the head. Lift yourself up with control and then keep those hands behind the head to support the head and neck. Push into your feet, lift your butt up and we're gonna do that big roll. So bottom of the shoulder blades all the way up to the top. One more good roll up and down. And then as you come back towards the bottom of the shoulder, set your butt down, lift yourself up away from the roller. And now we're gonna start to find ourselves into a zigzag seat or a side, a side seat position. So we're gonna start with our zigzag seat. This is gonna be just, you're gonna go to a depth or pressure that feels right to you because we all have different external rotations. So if you're in the side seat and that front knee is way up, then you might wanna, think about just being as light as you can. And you're gonna just do this like light kayak row around that muscle tissue. But if your knee relaxes down and you can put a gentle pressure on, we're gonna place the roller right to that inner thigh and that area right around the side of the knee. And we're gonna gently press. You're gonna to start to feel how that feels, especially the external rotation of the hip or how does that feel in the knee? So if you can put a bit of pressure on, awesome. But if putting pressure on puts you into some extreme position or creates any zinging in the knees or zinging in the hips, then you're gonna go super, super light. Nice, one more good roll up and down. And then we're gonna take our roller, set it out in front of us. So it's gonna be in that perpendicular position and then see if you can pick your leg up so that you can drop the outer edge of your shin on or the side of your calf onto the roller. And then once you found your way here, we're gonna just start by kind of getting an idea of how does it feel? Can you move your ankle? Can you move your knee? And then if it feels good, you're gonna let your hands kind of guide it and you're gonna glide your shin or the side of your calf across the roller going sideways. Cool, one more little swish side to side. And then you're gonna kind of find 
of just the center of your shin. You're gonna place your hands onto that outer edge of your shin or to that like meaty part. And you're just gonna gently manipulate the tissue. So you wanna try to kind of like your, your roll, um, rolling dough, right? You're just gonna push that little bit of muscle in towards the roller, but really we're working on that the anterior tibialis or that, that muscle that runs right along the outside of the shin. So you're just gonna push and then release, push and then release. Do that one more time, push and then release and then move on up just a little bit. So maybe you're getting a little closer to the knee, push and then release, push and release. Do that one more time, push and release. And then, so if you work the top in the middle, just come down a little bit and then you might have to just kind of readjust. So you're getting a little closer to the ankle. And then once you've got it readjusted, push and release, push and release, push and release. Nice. And then lift that leg off. And now we're going to move right into our mermaid. So keep your zigzag seat, move that roller out to the side. So the leg that's in front of you, the rollers on that side, hand on the roller. We're rolling out, lifting that top hand. Beautiful. Lift up with control and then take a little counter stretch. Nice. Rolling out with control. Lift back up. So we're using those side body muscles to lift and then take your counter stretch. Beautiful. One more time, just like that. Take your counter stretch. Awesome. And then we're going to take it into a light little twist. So both hands are going to rotate towards the roller. Pull that roller in a little bit closer to you. Push your palms into the roller. Lift your chest. Rotate just a little bit further. So we're going to stay in this more upright lifted position, but finding a little bit of rotation. Hug your shoulder blades in towards each other. Take a nice deep breath in. Slow breath out. Awesome. And then release your twist, but we're going to keep this zigzag seat. And then you might choose to just readjust your leg as needed. But we're going to pull that roller in nice and close to the side body. And now we're going to lean over the roller. So we want to find that soft tissue, that soft side body. So like right above that hip point and then below the ribs. So once you find that soft tissue area, lay that soft tissue onto the roller, but place your elbow and forearm down. So elbow and forearm are gonna support, legs are gonna help support. And then with this soft tissue area, just take three nice deep breaths, nothing else to do here. Beautiful, use your forearm on the ground, help lift up just slightly, and then we're gonna move the roller on up. So now you're gonna move the roller to the side ribs, but the whole time we're working up the side body, just make sure you keep it supported. So you put only as much pressure on as feels comfortable to you. Let your arms help you, let your legs help you. So find that bottom of the ribs. And then once you feel like you've found the bottom of the ribs, bottom hand is gonna keep the support, top hand is gonna help control the side to side movement. So with your hand on the roller, you're just gonna kind of gently rock your ribs forward and back. One more rock forward and back. And then we're just gonna move it on up just about an inch. So just move up slightly and then come right back to that rock forward and back. Nice, one more rock forward and back and then move it on up just a little bit more. So now you might be getting a little closer to that bra line area, rock forward and back and just be mindful if you get into breast tissue and that's painful, stay, stay closer to the back side of the ribs. But if it's all feeling good, take one more rock forward and back. And then we're gonna move on up, getting a little closer to the armpit now, which means you might need to readjust that bottom arm. But again, just make sure that you're maintaining a lifted position so that you're not putting all your body weight on and it feels uncomfortable. You put as much pressure on as feels good. Rock yourself forward and back. Nice, and then one more time, we're gonna move on up. So now we're getting really close to that armpit area. Beautiful, one more rock forward and back. And now we're gonna take that top arm, lay it nice and close to the top of the roller. So we're let, gonna let that top arm be nice and flush. And now we're gonna take it into some twists. So make sure that your hips and your legs are in a good position. Top hand is gonna reach palm to palm. And then we're gonna open up. We're gonna open into a little twist and let your gaze follow your hand as you reach back. Look back and then bring it back in palm to palm. Beautiful. Reach that hand back. Look back. 
bring it back in, palm to palm. This next one, we're gonna reach back, look back, and then stay here for an extra breath or two. So let that hand get nice and heavy. Beautiful, and then when you're ready, bring it back in with control, lift yourself up with control, and then we're gonna switch it around to the other side. So I'm just gonna swing my legs around so I can stay facing out to the camera, but you switch yourself around in any way that works good. Once you've got your zigzag seat, we're gonna address that inner thigh area. So just make sure you're going to a depth that feels comfortable and safe to your knee and your hip. Once you've got your zigzag seat, you're either gently rolling, or you might choose to do that just little kayak row, keeping a lighter position, especially if you don't have that good external rotation and it just feels uncomfortable to push into the knee like that. Nice, take one more good roll up and down. And then when you're ready, we're gonna place that roller out in front placing the shin and the calf onto the roller. So you'll readjust your roller into a position that feels good. Make sure your legs feel good. And then once you feel like you're there, just for a second, place your hands on, just make sure you've got a good range of motion. And then once you feel like you're there, use your hands and let your hands help glide that leg back and forth. Nice, one more glide back and forth and then come to the middle, hands on that muscle tissue. And then just like you're needing a little roll of dough. So you're gonna push in and then release, push in and release, push in and release, cool. And then move on up. So we're just gonna move the roller down or up towards the knee and then push in and release, push in and release. One more, push in and release, nice. And then move it on down closer to the ankle joints, which means you might readjust your roller. Once you're there, push in and release, push in and release, push in and release. Beautiful. And then when you're ready, lift that leg up and off. We're gonna take that roller off to the side and head right into our mermaid. So roller on the side, same side as the leg that's out in front of you, roll out, reach that top hand up. Strong side body, lift yourself up and take that counter stretch. Beautiful, hand to the roller, roll out nice and strong. Lift back up and take your counter stretch. Nice, one more time, just like that. Lift back up, take your counter stretch. And then we're gonna rotate. So both hands are gonna find the roller, but we're gonna walk that roller in closer to the side body. Push into the roller, lift your chest, squeeze your shoulder blades together, find that nice lifted twist position. Beautiful, and then when you're ready, release your twist, and now we're gonna lay the side body onto the roller. So find that soft tissue area, place the roller into that soft tissue area, elbow and forearm are gonna support, legs are gonna help support, and then we're just gonna let that soft tissue relax onto the roller, take three nice deep breaths. Wonderful, and then when you're ready, you're gonna lift slightly, move that roller on up. So now you're gonna find the bottom of the ribs. Once you've got the bottom of the ribs, you're rocking forward and back. Use your hand to help support, use your shoulder to help support. Beautiful, one more rock forward and back. And then lift up, move the roller on up about an inch. You'll readjust your bottom elbow as needed and then rock yourself forward and back. One more rock forward and back and then move it on up another inch. Maybe now you're getting a little closer to that bra line. So make sure you readjust and then only go as far as feels comfortable. Rock yourself forward and back. And then when you're ready, we're gonna move on up a little bit closer to the armpit now. So which means you might need to readjust that arm that's down on the ground. Rock yourself forward and back. Nice, and then when you're ready, we're gonna to come to that little twisting position. So that top 
or bottom arm is going to lay across the top of the roller so that we find that position there and then palm to palm we meet and then open up into a little twist reach that top hand back let your gaze follow your hand and then bring it back in palm to palm beautiful reach back find your little twist look back at your hand nice bring it back in one more time just like that reach back Bring it back in palm to palm. Beautiful, hand to the roller. Push yourself, oh, no, I say that, don't do that. Reach back, stay there for a breath or two. <laughs> I, I swear, sometimes on the left side, I just wanna leave you guys uneven. Take one more big breath here. All right, now bring it in, hand to the roller, and then we're gonna just address the um, tops of the shoulders and then we'll go over to the other side. So as we're here, just in that sideline position, you're gonna place that nice top round of your shoulder onto the roller, but the top hand is gonna help support. So you're only gonna put as much pressure on. So you're gonna kind of engage your core muscles, your legs are gonna be solid. And that top hand is gonna be on there to just so that you're not putting too much body weight on. So once you've found the top of the shoulder, find a little bit of rocking motion that feels good. Nice, one more little roll side to side and then top hand is gonna push into the roller. You're gonna lift up, move that roller in. So now you're gonna come about to the middle of your arm or to the middle of your biceps. You're gonna get a little bit of that side arm position. Once you feel like you found it, top hand is gonna still help support. Give a nice good rock forward and back. Beautiful, one more rock forward and back and then push into that top hand, lift yourself up. We're gonna swing it to the other side. We're gonna hit that other shoulder, the top of the shoulder, and then we're gonna find our way to finish our practice. So swing your legs back around just to give your legs a little break and then find that sideline position. Top hand on the roller, top or side round part of that shoulder onto your roller, but you give all the support that it needs. Once you feel like you've got a good position, get that nice little rock going forward and back. Nice, one more rock forward and back, and then push into that top hand, lift up, move on up. So now you're coming into that sort of middle side of the arm, lay back on it, you control the pressure, and then rock yourself forward and back. Beautiful, one more rock forward and back. And then when you're ready, push into that top hand, lift yourself up, we're gonna spin back around so our head comes on the roller like a pillow. So spin yourself around, lay yourself down, and then just readjust that roller so it's underneath your head, underneath your skull bone, and your hands can hold the roller in place if that feels beneficial, or your hands can come out at your sides, just whatever feels more comfortable. Once you've got that roller in a good position, find a nice gentle turn of your head side to side. Wonderful, the next time your head turns to the right, stay there, take a nice gentle nod of the head up and down. One more nod up and down. And then when you're ready, turn your head to the left, stay there and nod your head up and down. One more nod of your head up and down, and then bring your head back to center. Pause just for a moment. Let your head be heavy. Close your eyes down. Take three nice deep breaths here. Relax your jaw. Relax the tops of your shoulders. One more breath. And then if your hands are out to the side, just go ahead and bring them up so your hands can find the outer edges of the roller. Gently lift your head up, remove the roller from underneath your head. We're gonna bring those arms into that cactus or goalpost position as they hold the ends of the rollers. And then just come back to that turning of your head side to side.
Nice, one more little rock of the head side to side. And then as your head comes back to center, we're gonna extend the legs nice and long to get into a roll up to find our way back up. So stretch your arms up and overhead, maybe put a little pressure into the ends of the roller, take a big inhale. As you exhale, roll on up, reaching that roller past your toes if you can. And then as you lift into a more upright position, we're gonna swing the legs out and around, place your roller down to the ground, and then find your way up into a tabletop position. So as you come into that tabletop position or come onto all fours, bring your big toes together, walk your knees out just a little bit wider, and we're just gonna set the butt back to the heels, finish with that little forehead point. So if you're wearing your glasses, you might choose to take them off, set them off to the side somewhere safe, hands on the roller, elbows nice and soft, place your forehead on, either the space right between the eyebrows so that third eye center or just whatever area of the forehead feels like a good place to put on. And then once you feel like you're there, pause for a second, just let the back of your neck get soft and heavy. So for some of us, there might be a little line of, of connected to the sinuses here. So you might feel a little bit of a little bit of something or a little bit of pressure in your sinuses, but if it feels uncomfortable, just move and readjust, find a place that feels good. But if all is feeling good, start to gently rock your head side to side. Nice, take one more gentle rock side to side. And then as your head comes to center, you're gonna take a gentle nod of the head up and down. So you're gonna just make sure that your forehead is on in a place that feels good. It's a super small range of motion, just a tiny tuck of the chin and a little lift of the chin. One more gentle nod up and down. And then let all of that come to stillness. Lift your forehead gently away from your roller. Lift yourself on up. If you took your glasses off, take a second to put them back on. And then we're gonna start to find our way up to a standing position. So hands on your rollers, lift your butt away from your heels. Curl your toes under, we're gonna take it into a down dog. So just make sure that your roller is secure underneath your hands. Lift your butt up, make that nice upside down V. Press into your heels. You can walk your feet closer, walk your roller closer, whatever makes you into a position that feels good and secure. Take one nice big breath here and then soften your knees, move your roller in towards your feet. So you come into a sort of ragdoll folded position. And then we're just gonna finish by steamrolling the tops of the feet. So roll up towards the ankles, put a gentle press on, roll down towards the toes. Beautiful, take one more good steamroll of the tops of those feet. And then when you're ready, leave your roller on the ground, bend your knees a lot, pull your abdominal muscles in, roll on up to a standing position, take a couple of good shrugs of your shoulders. My gosh, nice work today. You guys are amazing, wonderful job. Be sure to drink plenty of water. You know